Hi there. I'm going to share in the screencast how to duplicate activities and resources in your Moodle course. Now the ideal time to get started doing this process is at the beginning of your course development, but you can implement this strategy I'm going to show you any time. It's really useful if you want to have, let's say for example, all of the weekly assignments in your course are going to be worth the same points with all the same behaviors from one week to the next to the next to the next really consistently so you don't miss the settings on, a, on an individual one. So first of all in your Moodle course click on that gear in the upper right and go down to turn editing on. Let's start in your week one section. Click the add an activity or resource. Let's select assignment for this. But like I said earlier this process can be used in any of the activity types and the resource types and click add. Let's just say this is going to be the week one assignment. In the description field you're going to type in or paste in or maybe even a link to a Google Doc just indicating the basic instructions for your students. You want to try to make this as generic as possible so that you can have just minor edits from subsequent iterations of this assignment and I'll show you what that means here in a few minutes. Let's go ahead and click expand all over here and we'll just take a quick tour through the settings. So on, the, on this first implementation of this activity you want to make a detailed tour through all the settings to make sure that this first one from which you're going to duplicate the others is set to how you want all the others to behave. So if you want your students to be able to input online text in your assignment, for example, keep this checked or uncheck it if you like, and or this file submission. This would be a good setup right here for a paper submission assignment. So whatever your preferences are for the entire run of your assignment. So let's pretend I'm just interested in having my students submit uh, PDF files, let's just say. Perfect. I can scroll on down and again I'm just taking a detailed tour of all the settings if I want to implement turn it in or not I can choose that here. Let's say each of my assignments is going to be 10 points. If I have previously set up gradebook categories that's going to show up in here. They're going to be in the assignments. Scrolling on down. Let's say you want activity completion which is that little checkbox that will show as checked when you have implemented a grade. You can keep that checked or not. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that for this. And I'm just going to click Save and Return to Course at the bottom. So let's say I'm ready to bring to life the Week 2 assignment that's going to go down here. All I have to do to the right side of the Week 1 assignment is click the Edit drop-down menu down to Duplicate. This is where the magic happens. And with the little move feature on the left side of this, I can drag that down to the week two section. Now let's just click edit again on that one now to edit settings. And if I have indicated week one up here, I'll just call this the week two one. And any instructions in here, like I said earlier, if they're generic enough, like say the week one assignment might be regarding chapters one through three in your textbook, and now the week two might be chapters four through five, let's say. Make your changes in the description. And then all these settings, make sure if you've uh, indicated availability, that's going to also be copied over. So change those in the second uh, iteration if you want. But all on down the line here, all those settings from the first one will be duplicated into the second one. And just click Save and Return to Course. And from here I think you can see what to do next when you're ready for a week three assignment. Just like that. Now, of course, everything, every activity that we bring into the course via this method that has a grade potential attached to it, that also is represented in the gradebook by a column there. And so there's a column for each of these in the gradebook right now. There'll be one for the week three, four, five, etc. Pretty slick. And you'll find a lot of other uses for this technique I showed you here. So I hope you enjoyed it. It's pretty easy, huh? Have a great day.